Well, hello there! Hi. Um... <laughs> I decided to re-record my thoughts on the Faye channel. Um, if you want the initial reaction, that stream VOD uh, will be up again soon. Um, I unlisted it for now to avoid it taking away from pushing other things. Um... I want to I want to predicate this by saying I don't have a lot of good things to say. <laughs> no. Um if you don't want someone to speak kind of real about it uh without sugarcoating anything don't watch this. Okay, <laughs> just don't. Um, but I think I have some valid points, okay? Um, and I feel like a lot of people also probably think that this was a very underwhelming Faye channel, right? So I'm probably not alone in a lot of respects to this. So let's just, let's just go into it, I guess. Um, and I'll, I'll pause as I need to, but I, I feel like we can just kind of, you know, play it through, which hopefully that's okay. Uh, so we did get a Faye channel. I guess I'll, st I'll start on a positive. We got a Faye channel. Because there were other things like Attuned Heroes and Emblem Heroes Things like that, that were pretty big mechanic introductions that um, didn't have Fate Channels. So, that's something, I guess. I think the last one we had was about Merged. Or... The Fate Channels, I think they just have stopped doing more consistently. Because if you remember, we used to get them every other month. We used to get six in a year. Um, sometimes more, actually. But... Maybe they just don't put them out as frequently anymore because they know they're going to be poorly received most of the time. <laughs> uh, we did get this, which was like, you know, the little mid-book movie that was coming up. Um, she's evidently a great healer, which is something. Uh, by the way, is it me? Or was Faye incredibly thirsty throughout this entire <laughs> explanation of the mid-book movie? It felt it, it, just somebody please quench face thirst. It's a problem. <laughs> oh, I just now realized that was us getting flung against a tree. That's crazy. <laughs> That's actually crazy. All right, well the summoner's dead. <laughs> so <laughs> something. Um. All right. I, I don't know who that is. I think he's the dude who takes over, like, people's minds or something. I don't know. Um, but, you know, this was sad. I, I feel like that's a thing. Red Tasker's dead. <laughs> Evidently, dude. Everyone's dying in this book. That's why it took her so long to come back. Um, I think the character drops and the little lore bits that Faye goes on to explain, uh, I feel like those are pretty good. You know, um, I think I think the book's story in general um, seems good so far. I'm not overly invested in any of the characters, um, but I think in terms of you know general storytelling, it, it, it's it's good so far. I think it's good so far, which some stories are have not been. <laughs> Look at you, Book 4! It was a dream all along. Yay, yay. Um, but, you know, I think this is good. And I'm glad that thick thigh lovers on men are getting... Look, I I believe in tasteful fan service. And I believe in tasteful fan service for all. Alright? So I'm glad that uh, the fellow lovers out there are 
you know, get getting a little little sum. That bro, that's crazy. The summoner is so just summoner is no longer in existence. <laughs> that's wild. Um So this I think honestly was one of the bigger bonus points for me. Uh in in the Fate Jail. I think I think the mid book movie looks really good. I think that looked fine. I think it looks I think it looks nice. And we're meeting everybody now. So finally all of the all the players are are set. Um this. Let's talk about this real quick. This is not a celebratory thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean it has celebratory in, in the titles, but I don't feel like it's very celebratory. You know? Something happened where we used to get compensation orbs or uh, rewards for when, you know, Faye won mobile game of the year. Um, we've lost something in this game. And I'm maybe... I'm maybe just a little bit jaded because I've been playing since, like, launch. Like, I, I pre-installed. Like, I was there minute zero, you know, when the game launched. And I miss... I miss the appreciation that the game had for its players. Because uh, when I see things, which, for the record, I, I don't feel like these do a whole lot for most people. Um, if you have kind of that hoarder mentality where, like, anything is good, please give it to me, then, okay, yeah. But, like, you probably have a, a fair amount of grails already. You probably have a fair amount of dew already. I don't know that 160 dragonflies are going to do much, but it's something, you know? And should a game running this long have that mentality? Probably not. You know? Probably not. Certainly not for a dedicated fan base that makes this game over $4 million a month steadily. Right? So, when they come in and they show this, and, like, for quests... You're going to get three orbs and leveling gems. Like, you know, it just, it feels bad. Because you see this and you're like, oh, okay. That's not even a pull, bro. <laughs> and yeah, you can make the ticket argument. And I've seen people make the ticket argument. But... That's good for one pull, the first pull, on a fresh circle. The amount of orbs they give you won't even let you do a follow-up pull from that circle. Like... You know what I mean? And look, if the game didn't quite literally introduce... 11 to 13 new units every month. Sometimes more. I would say, yeah. Summon currency, not that big a deal. There's more to do in the game than just summon on stuff. But Faye has positioned itself into being a very banner-heavy game. And so when they say, hey... We're going to give you three orbs as part of a quest. A celebratory quest, mind you. And then they end up giving you tickets for a banner of losers from A Hero Rises. Sorry, but it's what it is. You can't even do a follow-up pull on the same on the same ticket. So you have to, you know what I mean? Like it it's just enough to make you kind of feel bad about it. And you can say, well, you don't have to summon. But again, they've posi look, look. 
they put a lot of thought into the band. Like, oh yeah, summoning events. We're doing summoning events uh, for that. And it'll be daily. You know? Like, they put thought into that. I guess. It just, it feels bad. It feels bad because they're giving you, they're giving us this thing, which we've been around for, you know, over seven years now. And it's like, oh, we should be happy about that, I guess. Um, and by the way, I did have someone in, in chat when I was watching this live with my viewers say like, hey, uh, you should send feedback. Like, don't don't just complain. Send feedback. And like, I want to be clear. I am the feedback guy. Okay? I regularly send feedback. And I have for a long time. <laughs> because, you know, I... I like the game. I do. I like the community that I've built from covering the game. But the game should appreciate its players too, you know? It's not all just... It's not all just take. There should be a little bit of give. And when you're celebrating a half anniversary, which is what this is, by the way, uh, you know, it, it's it's a half point thing. Uh, it, I mean, even even the launch of the first the new book, which is like an anniversary within itself, you know. Um, and before you redditors get in there and are like, well, actually, the anniversary is February, and all, I know, I'm using anniversary as just a loose term here. Okay, I know it's not the actual date of the anniversary. Okay, just to be clear. But when you're celebrating anything and they, they don't even give you a poll, like, bro, it, it's hard to make Genshin Impact look generous, right? It's hard to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to say it out loud, but now you're thinking it, okay? Um, I don't know. It just feels bad that they put a lot of thought into banners and stuff, but like, and again, you can make the you can make the excuse. Well, it's it's a free poll, but that's not fun, you know. Like, fun is getting something, not praying to any god that you know you get lucky. And what is this, dude? <laughs> what is this, dude? Top 12 minus the top 4, which, when I was live, I was like, wait, 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 wait. We're, do we're doing a, th a 3, a, a 3? We're doing 12 units? Uh, which chat did correct me, which I appreciate for the record. Because I got testy about it. And while this isn't a bad idea in itself, it does kind of, in hindsight, defeat the purpose of the whole voting... Uh, you know, process. <laughs> yes. Like, hoping that, you know, something good gets into top eight and yada yada. And, you know, when they're just like, ooh, we'd like some more money, please. They just decide to do something like this instead. You know, it, it just, it feels bad. It feels bad. Which, I'm, it, you know, if you want to go for gold eggs right now, it's a great time to do that. For the record, she's not on color share, and you can't get a non-focus unit from this banner. Uh, so, legitimately, this is one of the only times you're going to have safe pulls for Goldig. So, you know, that's... That, hey, look, that's a benefit. That's a benefit. Does it defeat the purpose of the Spirit of a Hero Rises? Yes, but... We won't focus on that. Um... And then, you know, there's no color share here. I think these two color share. And then I think these three color share. And then these two. So, you know, that is what it is. It's, it's, it's a good banner. Obviously, it's a good banner. It has a lot of popular votes with good units. So that makes sense, right? But again, what are you going to use to pull on it? Five first free summon tickets? You're getting three orbs from the event. You can summon up you can you can spark four times. Four times. 
Maybe everybody. Possibly just Fey Pass holders. They didn't really specify. But, you know, you're going to use your three orbs that you got from your quests. The celebratory quests. <laughs> you know? To, to not be able to pull a second stone on that within that. You know, like, yeah. Uh, it, technically, it's a free pull, right? But it doesn't feel great. Like, imagine you can't. Imagine you legitimately can't. And there's like four red stones. Right? And you really, really want dual pilot. You gotta swipe. Like that. And when you're in a situation like that, it's not... Technically, it's something free, but it's not the fun kind of celebratory free. You know what I mean? And I want to get back to that place. Mostly. Because <laughs> that used to exist. You know? We used to get compensation orbs that were 20 at a time. Uh, there were... You know? It, it felt like the development team cared about the player base. And here it's just like, well, just be grateful for whatever you do get. Okay? Never mind the fact that we consistently make millions of dollars every month on this game. I don't know. Maybe I'm being cynical. But I think that's okay, too. I think it's okay to judge harshly the things that you like. Because in my case, I just want the game to be better. I want the devs to do better. I want to feel better about playing the game. Because I've written off the fact that I'm never going to get to a place where I used to be, which was very consistently being on the top of all the content. Because uh, there's just too many different things to care about, and too many things to try and summon for, and too many things to stay up on. And I, I don't have the time to do that. <laughs> I, you know? And, you know, hearts out to everybody who's a diehard who, who does that. I'm, I'm glad you guys love the game that way. Um, there was also this, which is just really poor timing for me. <laughs> if I could just be blunt about it, um, but this video is already live, so I won't, I won't really rehash a lot of the feelings that I had for it. There, you can go watch the actual banner trailer. Um, yeah, I figured in the tune Makai would show up at some point or a rearmed or you know something like that. <sighs> Mainly because Legendary Makai was getting remixed in the you know they can't have the remix version being better than the existing Makai version. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be right before summer though. Nor was I not expecting this banner to not have you know uh, a hero's mythic on it. That was kind of new. Um, given the number of mythics that we do have coming up, assuming the the squad of you know five minus Ratatasker, right, and then also the big bad, um, you know that's five new heroes characters that probably are going to make their way into the game. <laughs> And if we're only doing a mythic once every three months, does that mean those are the only mythics we're getting for like the rest of the year or something like that? I, you know, just thoughts, <laughs> just thoughts I have in hindsight. Um, but you know, like I, they care about the new thing. They care about the emblem heroes now, and so you know we shouldn't. Be worried about other mythic heroes like Sone, right? Who uh, would have rounded out that Tellius trio of, of uh, you know, lore-deep mythics. Gosh, she looks so good, bro. It's the better Brave Micaiah, honestly. Straight up. Um, see, I don't know what's, what's happening with that. They're kind of breaking tradition, not having... A hero's character on here, which I guess is fine. You know, it, it's not like a a huge thing, but it is a little disheartening. I guess is the word I'll use to to describe because you know they just showed the the 
the trailer, right? The the midpoint movie. Um, and it got you hyped about all the the rest of the characters that they introduced, but now they're they're not in the banner. <laughs> uh, one of them might show up at the end of the month, you know. Which I'll have uh, I'll update the hero tracker for you guys because it explains a lot of why the mythics legendary situation looks the way it does for June. Um, and then we had updates, which is really just new game mode. And then a new Ether Aids map. I don't know, know how abundant the term update is meant to be here, but is what it is. Um, as far as new game modes go, like it's it's not bad. It's it's co op. But really, I think it's their way of being like, well, if you get bonuses from certain titles, maybe you don't have certain titles in your barracks, so you got to use other people's units instead to help you out. It's, I feel like it's kind of their way of sidestepping the fact that not everybody has units from every single title within Fire Emblem. Which is fair, you know. I honestly I would expect heroes players to only collect their favorites at this point because chasing the meta and staying up on that is just it's rough that's rough um, but you know as far as co-op goes we've seen events like this before where they kind of just show up and then they die off <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen for this too but I'm not overly impressed by it. Uh, you do get a single orb. We're playing. Um, and then on each of the difficulty levels thereafter, there's five different maps, right? Uh, you get a, you get an orb for the hard clear. Uh, and then I think either a different type of dragon flower or a limited code for... Uh, was it Lunatic? Uh, and then the final difficulty you're going to get um, feathers, which again, it, it doesn't I appreciate them making the hardest reward to obtain in theory not anything that important but at the same time, do you? I, I, you're just kind of playing for pride at that point, right? Because like the thousand feathers is like most well, thousand feathers. You know, that's not like. If it was, the thing I really liked about Rooker Sieges was to to get to that damage level, uh, you got a unique cosmetic that you could only get from that at the time, right? I wish they would do something more like that again. And they've done that, I think, too, with, like, Pawns of Loki, where you get, like, the Luitha Raids uh, statue thing. Stuff like that, I think, is cool. Throwing in a reward of just a thousand feathers feels... You know. If you get it, you get it. Kind of situation. Um. It doesn't feel, I guess, that rewarding, in my opinion, to clear a level of difficulty that's meant to be difficult to clear. <laughs> yeah. But that could just be me. I would be interested, actually, to know your thoughts. If you've made it this far, you're clearly invested. <laughs> um... I would be interested to know your thoughts about how you feel about the rewarding system for content. Not like logins and celebrations and stuff. We all know that those are ass, right? Those are bad. Uh, I think universally we can all agree that three orbs for quests during a midpoint celebration is bad, right? Um, but as far as clearing content goes for like events like this, how do you feel about the tiers of rewards in terms of how that scales with the difficulty? Um, curiosity's sick, you know. Because I think just a thousand orbs for the hardest difficult, or a thousand feathers, <laughs> a thousand orbs, imagine, 
a uh, thousand feathers are the hardest difficulty is just kind of lazy. Because it, well, okay, so we don't have to make a new accessory, or we don't have to make a new Ether Raid statue, you know, something like that. Um, which, it's worth noting that the ephemeras there are limited. So, like, is this a monthly thing? I don't know. Could be. Um, but, you know, it, it's something new, I guess. And that's, that's kind of the theme, right? Well, it's not great, but it's something new. And I feel like Faye has the potential to be a game that you uh, enjoy playing, and it's not just something to do when you have extra time or you have nothing else better to do. You know? And if you genuinely enjoy the game in that context... Where, like, you're excited to log in and do whatever it is that they're offering up. That's fine. I'm not here to shame or, you know, belittle. But at the same time, we're not really getting new players. And eventually, us millennial Tellius fans are going to stop funding the game. <laughs> so, like, you can't keep just throwing out Micaiah banners. Uh, and expecting, you know, bailouts for when quarterly earnings are not what you would hope for, right? I mean, there comes a point in time, and this, this is how I, you know, you have to appeal to everybody, not just diehard Ether Raids fans or Summoner Duels fans. Because if you like those game modes, I think genuinely... The heroes and the skills that they drop, you know, every other week. That's probably enough to keep you engaged. Truly. Um, but if you're like me and you just, you don't necessarily have an interest or stuff like that stresses you out or you just don't have the time. Um, it's probably just a game that you do when you have the opportunity to. And it's not necessarily something that you get overly excited about. Unless a character releases that you're hype on. Which goes back to my original point of... This game is mostly about banners. And when they don't give you enough in-game currency... As free rewards or anything like that... Especially during times of celebration where they're throwing... You know, a dozen banners at you. Um... It can come off as, you know, money grabby. And I don't want the game to be perceived like that. But ultimately, I kind of feel like that is what it is right now. And that feels bad. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Um, I think I, this time around, I was a little more put together. Again, the stream VOD does still exist, but my OBS stopped recording, so. <laughs> but I value the opportunity to go back and more collectively put my thoughts together. Uh, so that's good, I think. I'm, I feel like I was more concise with what I was trying to explain based on my feelings. So I will, despite the fact it is now 2 a.m., <laughs> And I had to do four videos in the span of, like, two hours. Um, I value that opportunity. Um, and I hope I did not sour you on the game. Uh, but I feel like I, I, I can't lie to you guys, you know? I gotta say what I mean to say, and... At the end of the day, you can either like that or dislike that. It's up to you. Um, but I'm not at the point where I want to stop playing Faye, mainly because of the community I've fostered around it. Um, but I'm going to be honest, do I enjoy other games more? Yeah, kind of. To an extent. I don't not enjoy Faye, but is it the, is it the gotcha game of which I play many? Uh, is it the one I'm, I'm hyped to log into every day? Not the most hyped. 
I can say that much. But it is what it is. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I know this is a slog. It's <laughs> 30 minutes deep. Um, but you guys want my honest opinion? That's pretty clear. So I gave it to you. Um, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.